Hi. Do you want to grow your Twitter account? Do you want to use your Twitter to grow your Twitch channel? My name is Woody Chicken, and these are my top tips for growing your Twitter account and using it to build your growth on Twitch. Hi, my name is Woody Chicken. I thought I might put some hints and tips together as how I've been building my Twitter account and also how that's helped me build my Twitch account. I started using Twitter four months ago, about the same time that I started my Twitch channel. I had about five followers and I think most of those were family. Now, I've got nearly 3,000 and that's not a lot of follows compared to some. However, I know that some viewers that come to my channel tell me that they found me through Twitter. I'm getting a lot of engagement on Twitter and a lot of those people are important to the game that I play, World of Warcraft. It's important where I get my information from and how I network. Because I've grown from zero to 3,000 in just a few months, I thought that some of my strategies and some of my tips might be helpful for you if you're just starting out on Twitter. Some of it may not relate to you and some of it might. I hope that something helps. My first piece of advice is be genuine. Just be you. Twitch and Twitter are all networking platforms just like other networking platforms and people will respond to you more when you're your natural self. Your profile matters because it's the window into who you are and it invites people to come and check you out and if you're also a Twitch content creator, it invites them to come and check out your channel. Have a look at some other people's profiles to get some ideas about what they've done. Have a look at people's profiles that invite you to have a look at them. What makes you curious about them? Then get some ideas about your own profile. To begin building your follower list, have a look at where it is you want to get your information. Who are the people that will give you the information that you need about your interests and will keep you current? For example, if you play video games and you stream video games, are you following that company's official Twitter account? That would be the first thing that you do. Have a look at people associated with that company. Do a search. Let's say hashtag World of Warcraft. And when you do your search for a tag, have a look at top and latest and people. Do that for any interest that you have and you can immediately start building your follower base. Once you've got some people that you're following, have a look who follows them. Next thing, and this is what I call a breadcrumb, it's my own phrase. When someone that you follow puts out a tweet, look who responds to them. They may be people that you haven't heard of before, but give you more information as well. You can follow them. Have a look at who follows the people that you follow. It really is a trail. My warning in this though, don't follow people just for the sake of following them. You'll end up with a huge following list and not many followers. Try and keep it balanced. My next bit of information is when you check your Twitter account. I check mine in the morning as part of my morning routine, I check at lunchtime, and I check in the evening. Now, if I'm up late at night, I also check then. Why do I do that? Because I'm located in Australia, and a lot of the people and the companies that I'm interested in are overseas, different business hours. But it's up to you to manage when you can check. But do try and do it at least once, twice a day, preferably in the morning. I also check current tweets first. I don't tweet myself first until I see what is news. What can I react to? What can I support? I will support with likes. I will not often respond to a tweet if it's very, very old, especially if an account has lots of followers. You can imagine how quickly the Twitter feed goes for someone who has thousands and thousands of followers. By the time you put a response in, it will be buried and it won't get seen. I will also respond to Twitter accounts that are small that are in my small network because that shows that I support them and vice versa. But larger accounts, if it's old, I probably won't respond. That's also important to note that there's a little bell that you can tick. If you want to see someone's tweets the minute that they tweet and it's the top of your feed, press that little bell. That way you get their notifications early. With regard to responding to tweets, you can like tweets to show your support and you can also make responses. I have a personal rule of thumb that I'll only respond if I think it adds to the topic of conversation or if I think I've got something witty to give back. Try and make your responses stand out. If you just put a line, that's okay. But if you put a gif or a meme 
or even a clip that will stand out, that will get your attention. Another thing that I do is I try to remember that the accounts that I follow are people. They're genuine people. It's not a game dev that, that is, you know, the face of a game that I like that has 20,000 followers. That will be someone that will tweet their pet. They celebrate an event that's happened to them. They may share something that has saddened them. This is where the genuine self comes out. I will often respond to something like that as one person to another. Don't forget that they are people. That's something that I remember all the time. So when you do respond to a tweet, remember the timing and how you respond. When you make your own tweets, think about how you use your hashtags. For example, if it's about a particular game, make sure you do a hashtag relative to that game. Again, I'll use World of Warcraft because that's a game that I play. So if something important happens in the game, I'll put a clip of it and I'll put hashtag World of Warcraft or hashtag Warcraft. Be careful not to put too many tags. You can put too many tags and not only is it not necessary, it can be off-putting as well. The same goes for tagging. Again, I'll use my own game. If something really important has happened in the game or something is very important as a message for me as a player, I may occasionally use an at, at Warcraft Debs for example. I use at very, very sparingly. I don't want to fatigue the person who will be getting my tweets. But if it's very, very important, I will use an at for a particular account. Other than that, I use hashtags. Don't forget accounts that have small followers. Many of the people that I follow only have a hundred, a couple of hundred followers. I'm not following these people because of the followers that they have. I'm following these people because of who they are, because they make me smile, because they keep me informed. Don't assume that because someone doesn't have a large follower base, that what they can give you is not important. And not relevant to you. Now with regard to using Twitter to help your Twitch account, I have a couple of tips here. Now just a caveat here, I know that some people use their Twitter account just to announce that they're going live and that's okay, I'm not going to judge anyone for what they do. But if you want to do something a little bit different, this is my advice. If you see an account that has just go lives, no other tweets, you will see the same image over and over again. That is their Twitch channel image. And that is often all you will see on their Twitch account. And it's really just a notification platform. If you want to draw more attention to your Twitch channel, instead of just doing a I'm going live and, and the standard picture from your Twitch channel, put your own image. Go and take a shot of in-game of where you might be playing that day. Go and take a video clip and put that. Or put a funny gif. Again, something that will override the picture of your channel and draw the eye into who you are. Bring interest to your Twitch and then they can come and check you out. Use a clip that you have from in-game or whatever you did on your stream that was interesting or funny or will get attention. Download the clip from your stream and put it directly to your tweet. That way it's on autoplay. They don't have to click a link. It is right there for them. They can see it immediately. That way you're bringing the audience from Twitter across to your Twitch. You find it in, they will find it interesting and you will draw their attention to come and see you on your channel. Don't be afraid to personalise your tweets if you feel comfortable doing that. And by that I mean share a little bit about yourself. Put a photograph of yourself. Many of my own tweets, the most popular ones, are simply a picture of me. Seems they like a face behind a tweet. Don't forget the importance of asking questions to engage people on Twitter to get new followers and also get interest in your channel. For example, a poll. Polls can be really, really good at increasing your follower base. I asked a question about the age of gamers. It was a poll and I did it in I think about my second month on Twitter. Over 5,500 people responded to that poll. And yes, I got a lot of followers just from that poll. And then they came and checked out some of my content. It's important to think, how can I ask a question that will engage people on Twitter? Not yes or no questions, but questions that will really have them thinking and, and giving lots of responses to you. Consider how you engage on Twitter like a conversation. Will it be interesting to people? Are you asking questions that they will answer? Every time you engage with someone, you have their attention. Every time someone looks at your Twitter account, you have their attention. And every time you bring your Twitch channel, to Twitter, you have their attention. All of this drives viewership to your Twitter account and potentially back 
to your Twitch account. I hope some of my tips have been helpful. They may be very basic, they may be common sense, none of it might be interesting to you. But if you are trying to grow your Twitter, or you're trying to grow your Twitter and your Twitch, some of it may help you. Twitter is an amazing platform if you use it to build not only your own network, but to network with other peers, to learn information, and to become current in news that affects you and your interests. And it is a wonderful tool to bring people from Twitter across to Twitch. If you have any questions, please pop them down below. And again, thank you so much for supporting me. If you want to see me on Twitch, my information is all down below. Have a great day.